Hello, and welcome to Fit Pros Live. You are in store for an educational and engaging session. Your instructor is live and able to answer questions that you drop in the chat. And we encourage you to respectfully interact with one another. Check your company's well-being portal for more live sessions this week. We are a community of wellness warriors. Now let's slay the day. Namaste, hello and welcome to FitPros Live. I am Rohit Sharma and I will be conducting today's session for chair yoga and we are keeping this intention with the session that we will be focusing on mobilizing most of the major body joints as well as muscles so that we can get reduced pain because of stiffness and aches that arise because of stress and tension that we create in the body because of long sitting that we do generally. So please get on your chair, be comfortable first. Perfect, and let's start now. We will be keeping in focus one thing, whenever we perform chair yoga, our knee and ankle should always be in one line. We should not be keeping our legs like this inside or like this. This is the proper posture. It also helps our back to be straight throughout. So once we are there, please focus on your spine now. Just be aware of your spine. I understand most of you will not be able to sit straight immediately, but just focus on the spine and make sure it is straight as much as you can. Roll the shoulders back, chest should be open. Relax your palms facing down on your thighs. Once you're here, focus on your neck, the most important part. Just be as if your neck is in line with the spine. Adjust yourself. Be aware of your body and posture. And when you are there, please keep your chin parallel to the floor. Very nice. With a gentle smile on your face, slowly close your eyes and just be there. Observe your breath. Slowly let go of all the thoughts. Just be aware of the present. Become one with this moment. Try to gather your awareness from everywhere else and just bring it here towards your posture. Slowly bring your awareness to your breath. Observe every inhalation and every exhalation. Be aware of the breath moving throughout the body. And as you calm down your breath, you will feel your mind is also becoming more calm and aware. Just breathe. Observe the breath moving from your feet up to your knees, your thighs. Just observe the breath in your abdomen, in your chest, going all the way to the top of your head. Moving towards the shoulders, your arms, palms, fingers. And now you feel your whole body is breathing.
whenever you feel your mind is getting distracted because of thoughts, just try to bring it back on your posture, on your breath, and most importantly, on the smile. Just breathe. It's time to become one with yourself, letting go of all the distractions. This is your moment. You are where you are meant to be. Just relax and breathe. With your next inhalation, try to take a deep breath in. Exhale from the mouth. Once again, deep breath in. Exhale from the mouth. One last time, deep breath in. Very nice. Keeping the smile on. Very gently open your eyes. And let's start with the chair yoga sequence. The most important joint is our neck. So we will be first mobilizing the neck and releasing the stress from there. You can also use your fingers. Just join them together in the Namaste Mudra. Keep them below the chin and just stretch the neck up. Looking back as much as your body allows. There is a gentle pressure there. Just be there, keep stretching. Slowly release. And now interlocking the fingers, keep them behind your head. And now we are going down, chin to the chest. Stretch the back of the neck. Making sure there is a gentle pressure from your hands. Slowly release. Once again, we'll be going up. Feel the stretch, nice and easy, fully aware. Breathe and release. Once again, going down, interlocking the fingers behind the head and gentle pressure as you stretch the back. Slowly release. Just turn your neck to your right side. I will be doing the mirror. It will be easy for you to follow. Just breathe. Move as much as your body allows without any exaggeration or force. Slowly coming back. Now turn the neck to the other side. Feel the stretch. Keep breathing. Coming back to the center. Once again, we are going to your right side. Make sure your breath is smooth and throughout. We will not be holding the breath. Coming back and once again to the other side. Keep breathing. Coming back to the center. It's time for the bend and we'll be using our hands. Just see taking the support from first hand and the other one is down. The arm on the other side is down. Your fingers are trying to go towards the floor and you are applying a gentle pressure from these fingers to stretch. Keep breathing. And slowly release, changing the sides. Feel the stretch. 
once again please do not force yourself do not press too hard only as much as your body allows so that you feel a good stretch keep breathing release once again we are going for the right side gentle pressure from the fingers getting a good stretch from the other arm pushing down keep breathing slowly release changing sides one last time to your left just breathe slowly release very nice you can rotate the shoulders three four times in both the directions wonderful now interlock the fingers stretch the palms out very nice and take both the arms up over the head you are now stretching the back the shoulders the arms just feel the stretch be there and just make sure that you are not compressing the neck by elevating the shoulders we are not doing this this compresses the cervical we are keeping the shoulders down and then trying to press up very nice stretch breathe amazing stretch for all the upper back issues just breathe five four three two and one and now slowly releasing the fingers we are coming down with a backward rotation very nice giving a nice stretch to the pectoral muscles also very good once again we are here interlock the fingers palms out and stretch up very nice and this time just try to take the arms behind the ears as much as your body allows be there keep breathing very nice five four Three, two, one. Just be there, and now we will be doing the ten pulse movements, behind and up, behind and back to the center. Very nice. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and release with a backward rotation. Once again, you can just relax the shoulders, rotate or. shake the arms take a deep breath exhale from the mouth to stabilize very good now moving forward interlock the fingers this time we'll be focusing on our shoulders we'll be doing the protraction and retraction movement you are interlocking the fingers i'm showing you the side view this way you are taking your chest in but your back is out protract feel the stretch in the shoulders keep breathing and then we will be doing the retraction chest out and shoulders in very nice continue once again protract very nice like this breathe five four three Two, one, and retract. Five, four, three, two, one. One last time. Retract. Five, four, three, two, one, and retract. Five, four, three, two, one. In the retraction only. Interlock. out and then raise both the arms up stretch till behind as much as your body allows and release with a backward rotation breathe in breathe out relax as you stabilize moving forward take your right arm in front and then to the other side use the other hand to give a nice stretch to the shoulder breathe five four three two one release we'll change the arms and 
read. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly release. Shake the arms. Take your right palm in front. We'll be stretching the wrist and the palm using the other hand. Just breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. Down and stretch. Five, four, three, two, one. Change your other arm. Gentle pressure. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, one. Palm down. Five, four, three, two, one. And release. Relax. Once again, check your posture. Knee and ankle in one line. Your toes are not going in a V posture. They are also pointing in one direction. We are going for a forward stretch to release the tension from the whole of the spine. Interlock the fingers, palms out, raising both the arms up over the head. Slowly start bending forward. Forward, forward, as much as your body allows. Our intention is to go parallel to the floor. Keep breathing, be there. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling, slowly come back up and release the arms with a backward rotation. Take a breath. I'll be showing you the side movement that we are doing here. We are bending right from the bottom of the spine. Just make sure you are not doing this. This will create issues in the thoracic area. Spine is straight. Arms are up. You are trying to bend right from the lowest part of the spine and trying to go parallel to the floor. So this is the posture we are trying to achieve here. We will start once again as you get ready. Check your posture. Interlock the fingers, palms out, raising both the arms up. Take a deep breath in. Exhaling, bend forward, forward, forward as much as your body allows and just be there. Hold the posture. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly with your next inhalation, you are coming up. And when you are in the center, try to go for a nice backward stretch this time. As much as your body allows, just breathe. Five, four, three, two, one, and release the arms down with a backward rotation. Once again, when you are in the center, just to breathe, stabilize, become aware of all the muscles that we have just moved. You can close your eyes, catch a few breaths. Become aware of the shoulders, the arms, palms, fingers. Just relax them, energize them. Slowly open your eyes. Amazing. All right, so now we'll be moving towards next two important movements of the spine, the side bends as well as the twist. So get ready, raising your right arm up. You can take support of the chair from the other hand. Bend to your left side as much as your body allows, making sure you're not bending forward. This is only the lateral bend, the side bend. Hold the posture and breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly coming back to the center. One arm down, the other arm up. Once you're ready, you can take support once again, bending to your right side. Just breathe. Five. Four, three, two, one. And slowly coming back to the center. Left arm down, right arm up. Deep breath in, exhale and very nice. Just bend, making sure that your neck is also not dropping. Be there in the posture. 
Breathe three, two, one. Coming back to the center. Release the right arm down, left arm goes up. Breathing, you're going to the side. Feel the stretch, keep breathing. Three, two, one. Coming back to the center, release the arm down. Relax, take a couple of breaths. Feel the lats, the side muscles. And as you get ready, we are moving forward towards the most important stretch of the spine, the twist. You can take the support of the chair and the other arm, you have to cross over the legs and press the outer thigh and then twist. You can do any side comfortable for you first. We are going for the right and then twist. You will also hear some popping sounds. It releases the stiffness from the whole of the spine. Just breathe five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come back to the other side. Twist. Just see that you are pressing here. This will give you good support. This will give you good twist as well. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly coming back to the center. Once again, going towards the right side. Nice and easy. And bring the smile back. Very nice. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, one. Coming back to the center. One last time to the left side. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly release. Come back to the center to release all the stiffness. Once again, we'll be elongating the spine, interlock the fingers, palms out, raising both the arms up, going for a forward bend. Stretch the spine. This time you will feel you are able to do more. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, Two, one, very nice. Coming up, release the arms down with a backward rotation. Perfect. And let's now focus on the lower body. You have been doing amazing. Smile, catch a few breaths, become aware of the whole body at once. Feel that your muscles are also breathing. Feel the lightness in the upper body. Perfect, let's focus on the legs. This particular stretch is the best because it takes the whole of the leg into consideration. So I'll be showing you the lateral view. We'll be putting one leg up, toes pointing down. See, toes pointing down and then in. We are flexing and extending the ankle. So this is the stretch, toes out and in. You can start with the right leg first, out, in, out, feel the stretch, in, out, in, very nice, out, and in. Relax, change the leg, toes out, in, breathing, out, in, out, in, out, in, one last time, out and in. Relax, going for the right leg once again, or the first leg, whichever you started. Out, in, out, in, and out. Just hold the out, stretch as much as your body allows. Breathe five, four, three, two, one, two, in, five, four, three, two, one, and out. Maintaining the out, we are going for the ankle rotation. Rotate clockwise, five, four, three, two, and one. Anti-clockwise, five, four, three, two, one, and relax.
going for the other leg point the toe out maintain the stretch breathe five four three two one toes in five four three two one toes out maintaining the stretch rotate the ankle one two three four five and now change five four three two one and relax close your eyes catch a few breaths and once again awareness on your breath awareness on the whole of the body just feel every cell breathing become aware of all the joints all the muscles that we have used mentally relax them energize them with your beautiful smile keep breathing slowly open your eyes very nice going for the back stretch for the leg most important the hamstring starting with your right leg first just bring leg forward totally as per your convenience as much as you can lift it's completely fine what we are doing is keeping the leg up keeping the toes pointing in we will be bending forward like this as much as your body allows we are not intending to touch the toes just see as much as your body goes forward go with this stretch you can start leg up to in breathe Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly release. Going with the other leg. Up, two, in. Bending forward. Your intention is to take your forehead to the knee. That's it. We are not mandatorily doing it. Your stretch will say it all. Just breathe. Five, four, three, two, and one. slowly release amazing and now going for the king of the stretches as i call it the fourth stretch place one leg over the other the ankle on the other thigh like we generally sit on the chair keep your spine straight very nice hands up raise your arms up bend forward 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 and you will start feeling the stretch in your right hip that's amazing and then once you reach parallel to the floor relax the arms down you are fully bent forward drop to the gravity just relax 5 4 3 2 raise the arms up first going parallel to the floor next inhalation you're coming up and release the arms down with a backward rotation amazing slowly release the leg going for the other leg cross it over once you're ready spine straight both the arms up bend forward forward you will start feeling the stretch very nice keep breathing be there when you are parallel to the floor breathe breathe and release the arms completely down drop yourself to the gravity and feel the stretch breathe 5 4 3 breathe raise the arms slowly coming parallel to the floor once you are there next inhalation your whole body is coming up very nice breathe smile release the arms down with a backward rotation relax the leg and just feel your whole body is completely stretched and i hope the stress and the stiffness is also gone 
practice as much as you can regularly as we conclude our session. Thank you very much. Namaste.